This is part number 10 of my 2021 Serbia series. I've been based in Užice for a number of weeks, experiencing life in the city as well as visiting the spectacular scenery of Bajna Bashta and Mokra Gora, with smoke billowing from chimneys surrounded by luscious landscape. We'll be back in Užice for the next video, but today we're off to Kragujevac in central Serbia, a city not exactly known for its tourism. Once Serbia's capital around 200 years ago, Kragujevac has always been the beating heart of Serbian industry, home to one of the country's most iconic names. Uh, even the clock is Yugo. If you like automobile classics, abandoned factories and 19th century architecture all in one place, Kragujevac definitely delivers. Morning all and welcome to Gagoyevac, just in an abandoned building as you do. Nice way to start a Sunday morning. Oh, there's a penis on the door. Yeah, I'm down by the uh, arsenal or the old factory. I'll come onto that in a second. This feels like um, when I was in Pripyat, Chernobyl, with like these abandoned desks. I'm assuming there is no radiation this time. Hang on, there's an old book. I don't know what it says. Yeah, this book here, it's like a security book, Zastava Security. Yeah, I assume this was the uh, like security entrance bit. Okay, if someone has been here recently, because there's a fag in there. We're heading over that way. I'll tell you a little bit more about Kragujevac when we get there. Kragujevac is not the pretty synagogue land of Vojvodina or the wonderful scenery area of Western Serbia or in Central Serbia and this city used to be the capital of Serbia I believe on more than one occasion and it's very much the industrial heart of Serbia particularly to do with Zastava. Look at this, this is my kind of thing. I was worried about whether I could get in here or not but turns out I can. It's the Arsenal, classic abandoned building. Amazing. Over here, as we pan to the left, the ceiling is all caved in. Of course, as with much of Serbia, Kragujevac was bombed in 1999 during the NATO bombings and the Zastava factory did not escape that. This place is cavernous. That's the best word for it. Yugos and Zastavas, right? You've probably heard me banging on about them quite a lot in previous videos. The cars, because I love them, particularly the ones from like 70s and 80s. You know, that kind of era of car production. I'm a bit of a car geek. Oh, what have I trodden on? Um, but Zastava actually started in Serbia in, I think, 1853. They actually built cannons and weapons. And that's why the arsenal, there's a museum, a weapons foundry as well, which I think is closed today, brilliant. They then developed into producing cars in around 1955, I think it was. And I think the staffers were made until like the 80s, I think. But then I read they went bankrupt in 2007. I'm not quite sure, but whatever. It's um, an important part of history in Serbia. <laughs> Also, Zastavas were made under the Fiat name as well. I saw one earlier actually with Fiat on it, but it was basically a Zastava. And I think there's now like a actual modern Fiat factory somewhere in Kogoyevac. Now, of course, it's easy for me to say that it's cool because as an abandoned buildings geek, I find this interesting. And they do do a music festival here, Arsenal Fest. But the thing is about here is that 
I believe around 10,000 people were employed at the Zastava factory, obviously many of them who lived here. So there would be, you know, families where maybe half the family would work for Zastava. But then 1999 comes, the factory gets bombed. What do people do? You know, it's unimaginable. I guess these rooms used to be offices of some kind. There's a little hatch thing in the wall. And then these ginormous, cavernous spaces. There's slightly inappropriate graffiti over there. Not only the swastika, but someone with a rather large penis. What is it with penises today? Look at this. And the light coming down from the gaps in the roof. Really give it a nice effect of, you know, abandonedness, dilapidation. Let's see what this building is. I'm not sure what these raised platforms are with the steps. Just look at this, so overgrown. This is Mother Nature taking back the earth. That sounded a bit dramatic, but it's true. What's gonna happen when we all get wiped out by whatever disaster we initiate next? This will be what's left. But before I go, I just wanna check in this building again and have a look at this book to look for dates. Oh, 2007. Nice, what about these ones? 2009, 2010. Where are these cupboards? Look at all this down here. Nice. Random books. Cobwebs. Oh. Newspaper from, oh, it's 2015. Okay, it's not that old. Sorry, it's so windy today. Miloshev Venat. I believe in this area there are a number of buildings dating back to the 19th century. There's one very important one past that statue up there. I'll put it on the screen now. And there's a market up here, like a Sunday market, classic. People selling all sorts of junk, clothing. Random electronics, phones from 1997. The taxis in Kragujevac are pink. Is Kragujevac pretty? Not really. Um, it's, you know, it's not like a touristy city. You know, my Airbnb host did tell me that. But you've got artwork up there, you've got different styles of buildings and as we've already seen, interesting history. Saying that, you do have a nice pedestrianised street with cafes and things like that. Just make sure I'm not going to film the policeman. And interesting architecture up there. Similar to kind of um, other cities I've been, I guess, in Serbia with those sort of colours and decoration on buildings. Uh, even the clock is Yugo. I do get the sense of it being a former capital because all the buildings in the central area are all very grand with these monuments, statues outside. Yeah, it definitely has that ex-capital feel. This building behind me, it kind of reminds me of Hotel Yugoslavia in Belgrade because it's got that kind of similar thing out the front. Does Hotel Yugoslavia have that or am I just imagining it? But it has that same kind of, you know, that rectangular feel, it's ginormous. There's a wedding going on over there. Look at this beast. Is it like the city hall or something? I'm not sure it is. Yeah, there's police around the other side. Um, it's monolithic. 
And that's one of the things about Kragujevets. Yes, it's not a touristy place, but not every city has to be, right? Because when you think about it, without cities that are known for industry, countries wouldn't have money from that industry in their economy in order to create those touristy places, if you know what I mean. Genius. Isn't that cool? I don't really want to get close because I don't want to intrude. They're having their wedding photography. That's amazing. Women in a nice white dress and they've got a big Serbian flag. That's so cool. Congratulations, Hans. <laughs> Okay, no wonder there are cops everywhere. I don't know if you can see them, I can't see anything. The sun, um, they've all got like riot shields and everything. There are a load of guys up by that shopping mall up there. Like doing like, ooh, 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 you know, the classic type of male chant. I don't know if there's some sort of protest going on. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it kicking off? The cops are moving closer. I wonder what this is all about. Okay, as much as I'm English and rioting comes a second nature, um, I don't really want to get involved in one, so uh, it seems quite peaceful actually. We're going to the next spot, and in case you are thick as two short planks, you might not realise this video is all about Zastavas, and the next place is also about that. You will love London, Angela. There are a lot of German things. I saw a little. <laughs> okay, that was from a UK comedy show. Here we are. Now, of course, it's connected with death. We're at a cemetery. But also there's a connection to Zastavas, supposedly. And I want to see if I can find what I'm looking for. I've never been to a cemetery in Serbia before. It's quite vast, isn't it? And going up the hill there. Up the other end, there are these, like, proper mausoleums. But I can't find what I'm looking for. I think I've seen an example of what I was looking for. Surely that is meant to signify, represent as a stava, right? Yeah, these people died in 2006, 84, 86. So I guess potentially they could have worked at the Sastava factory. Yeah, this big sort of stone car on the back. That's amazing. I'm actually filming this on October the 31st. So tomorrow is All Saints Day, right? In some countries, for example, Poland, they will go to graveyards before that date to make sure that the grave is all, you know, presented well and everything. A bit like in Mexico with Dia de Muertos, that is tomorrow, Day of the Dead, people will do the same there. And I think in Taiwan as well, there's a grave cleaning day, if I remember correctly, maybe China as well. The third and final place in this video was meant to be a place called Shumaritse, but honestly, I'm really tired and I've got a headache because this sun is insanely bright. This place is like a memorial park for people that died in World War II. And another reason I'm not going there is because I went to Niche last year and I filmed at a place there that was kind of similar. Yes, people there were buried there because there was a concentration camp in Niche, but the people that this memorial is commemorating in Kragujevac, there was a Kragujevac massacre when 2,800 people were killed by the Nazis during World War II, many of them men and boys and high school students, basically. You know, if you do have a bit of extra time and you want to learn a bit more about how this area of Europe was affected by World War II, then definitely go there. All that place in Niche also. And I'm not ashamed to say that before I came to Serbia for the first time two years ago, I didn't know that Serbia was so impacted by World War II. And now I can say that. I think I said something similar in the niche video. Um, so it's definitely worth it if you are curious about history, that you want to learn more and know more than just 
what you were taught in your country. I'm off to the bus station. I've enjoyed my day in Kragujevets. We've had abandoned buildings, we've had Zastavas, we've had an arsenal, we've had cemeteries and we've had a variety of architecture, which means it's all good in my book. And that's 10 videos in Serbia this year without a sign of Budek. But don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be coming in a future video. We've got a couple more left from Serbia before I head to my next country. Once again, I don't know where that video is gonna be, but I've got a rough idea. Stay tuned to find out. You can check out the end screens over there. Like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Check out my other Serbia videos from this year. They're bloody brilliant. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Catch you later.